What is up and what is good YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I'm SoCal Shaolin. My next soul hunting adventure takes us to another Misfit Toys. This is one of their other locations. This one's on Montrose Street in the Montrose area of Houston. Uh, it's been a while since I've been here, uh, but I'm excited to see what they have. It's a lot smaller than their other store that we visited before in the previous video, but you know, that doesn't matter to me as long as it got cool toys, cool vintage stuff to look at. That's all that matters. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit the subscribe button to keep up with future videos. And also follow me on Instagram at SoCal Shaolin. Uh, so enough talking, let's head on in. This is the Misfit Toys Montrose location. Once again in Houston, we are at another house turned toy store. That's right, the Misfit Toys Montrose location is inside another house converted into a toy store. So as we head in, side there's three rooms in here i guess you would call them living room and then two side rooms two rooms so this would be one of the rooms off to the left as soon as you walk in as you can see they've got a lot of pop figures and star wars items and some modern things as well and you can have a toy store without pops i mean people love them i have a few myself here we have some men on card marvel legend figures some of the more recent ones, you can see all the different Deadpools there. But they're also a great little find here is some Toy Biz 90s Marvel figures. And they have some really neat ones here. Some that you don't see too often, like this Iron Man with the removable helmet. And then uh, we got Star Tony Stark's head underneath, which is a pretty awesome figure. I almost picked that one up. Here's my uh, Thor and then uh, Daredevil. Some of the older Marvel Legends there off to the right. And then down here we got two bins full of Toy Biz action figures on card. Oh, I love these Toy Biz figures from the 90s that Marvel did. And, and then I could have picked up so many from here. I have a nice little collection loose at home already in storage. But uh, I mean, they made so many characters. And, obscure characters in this line that when you see like some boxes and bins like this full of toy biz marvel figures you gotta go through them and sadly i didn't pick up anything from there here we have some awesome batman vehicles from the 90s we got robin sitting in that one right there must be from the batman and robin movie i believe and we got some Ben Beyond figures. As well as some more uh, Batman and Kenner figures there. And more pops. And a nice collection of Simpsons figures from Playmates. They also made so many figures in that line. So many. Here we have the Millennium Falcon. Really cool. In the box. From Power of the Force, and then these are the few G.I. Joes I do own at home. Uh, I have all the Street Fighter ones loose, uh, one of my favorite arcade games of all time, not my favorite. Over here at this table, we have some Star Wars vehicles, got a vintage X Wing right there, Power of the Force Boba Fett in the background, and a vintage Land Spear, and the mix of. Power of the Force boxed items there. So now we're going into like the living room part of the store, if you want to call it that. And this is where they have all the Legends showcases. Here you have a nice collection of loose figures. And a whole bunch of carded ones as well. So Misfit Toys is definitely a store you want to visit if you're into Marvel Legends because they do have a crap ton of Marvel Legends. Now we're going into the second room or third room. Uh, here we got some Transformers. Again, I'm not a Transformer collector. I don't know a lot of you guys are, but it is always cool to see them. Hot Wheels thrown in there as well. And the 
a bin of dinosaurs, plastic dinosaurs. We have some wrestling figures, some ECW figures you don't see all the time. So it's cool to see these guys. You got Shane Douglas in. Here's the big show. We got some random awesome power figures there, and then a couple Happy Meal toys. You know, they also have stuff for the ladies here. So we're about to get into the Barbie collection. They have a nice little collection of Barbies. As right, so you see here, they got the 90s ones and some from the 80s as well. My girlfriend does collect Barbies. She collects vintage Barbies. So she wasn't here with me during this visit, but she would have been all over these cases. She owns a few of those and a few of the dolls as well. So that's uh, one of her collections that she owns. And here are some things on the top of my list, uh, when it, as far as it goes with collector cases. On the very top of it has to be Master of the Universe and the Ninja Turtles. I, one of these days I will pick those up. I mean, they're kind of common, you see them all the time. But that X-Men one, that's one that you don't see very often. Some loose modern Star Wars figures here in that case. This show have had a little mix of things like Ninja Turtles, Power Rangers, Fox stuff. And here to the left, there's going to be some of those uh, Toy Biz cloth figures they made in the 90s. Like, what are they, like 8 inch, 10 inch ones based off famous covers. There's an excellent set that uh, Marvel Legend collectors should own. And then in these Detoff cases, we do have some Transformers, loose action figures. A couple of Rod Lords there, sitting there with the Transformers. And as we take one final look at Misfit Toys Montreal's location. All right, guys, I am out of Misfit Toys. I did not pick up anything. Uh, the store has changed a lot since the last time I visited. What they're doing here at the Montrose location, it's a lot smaller. So they're kind of doing more of the modern stuff in there, Marvel Legends and things like that, like NECA. They got a few 90s things thrown in there as well. Uh, but that's what they're kind of doing here, more modern stuff. And a lot of the vintage is being at the, uh, held at the big store, the one in the Heights area, the one we saw in the previous videos. So. But please let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought of this store. If you like modern toys, definitely hit up the Manchas location here in Houston, Texas. And I'll leave the link down below again if you want to check out their Instagram as well. Uh, thanks again for watching, guys. Remember, if you're not subscribed to the channel already, please do so to keep up with future toy hunting videos. And I'm also on my Instagram at SoCalShaw. And thanks again for watching, guys. Hit that like button if you like the video. Catch you on the next hunt. I'm SoCalShaw and I'm out.